Welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I have a guest comic who I'm going to ask to explain a topic that we are all familiar with, but we aren't necessarily sure how it works. Today, my guest is Boston comic Rob Green. Hey, hey, John. That's him. Rob, how does one plan a funeral? How does one plan a funeral? Loved one dies, you're in charge. You're okay. in charge of everything. I could do this. You're going to look for a body. You. Step one. That's the, the most important thing you need. You need a body. Not always, but most of the time. You do. Well, if yeah. you don't have a body, someone's missing. If so you don't have a body, then you've had some time to think about you this. Gotta wait so at don't least, even worry about you it in ask, that case. you got to wait at least a week or so before you stop looking. There's going to be no open casket, obviously. No There's going to be casket. no casket. Maybe. Do they do ceremonial caskets if, if they don't have a body? Just an empty casket. Just an empty casket. Yeah, so it's like, so you look at something at least. Maybe a box. You got to look at something, I feel. This should be a focus. They're putting something in the ground. Maybe a portrait. <laughs> Portrait's a, big. A portrait. Portrait's big. They do dig a hole, right? If there's no body, there's no hole. <laughs> they don't do a ceremonial like burial. No soul, no hole. <laughs> no soul, no hole. Bumper stickers. <laughs> I have a very young mother. I don't need to think about this forever. Uh, let's... Mine's on death's door. <laughs> Is this why you do these? Like you just you're trying to learn about the world. How do you think I think of these topics? Because I don't know necessarily how they work either. So I'd never try to make the guests look like a fool. I want to be a fool with you. Let me tell you what I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Let's Come bypass to me on your this. bullshit. I'd Google how to plan a funeral. Okay. You know there are sites. Definitely. There have to be, right? So anyway. You're going to go to a funeral home. That's I think the that's, first step. I, some funeral homes, I bet they're like ambulance chaser lawyer types they come to the hospital any industry has a slimy version let's of take it. it back even further than that i think there's like a social worker from the hospital that comes in and like oh mr tilson here's what you're going to want to do and then maybe they've got a little side deal with the like o'leary and sons funeral so, home so you think they're getting a little cut from a funeral home to push you in a come certain on. direction obviously not ethical no but we're all human get busy living or get busy dying Bam. Uh, I guess the only rule, even the slimiest would have to have, they're not going to talk to you until the death is official. What if you're a mortician? Like, times are tough. Your town... People, no one's dying. Everybody's vaccinated. Like, there's a vacuum of death now, and you've got bills to pay. How do you get into the business? I feel like very often, not always, obviously, it's something passed down. A lot of times I think so, yeah. If somebody dies in a nursing home, that is just a pipeline to the funeral home. I think that is That's... a fact. You slip some money to that fun uh, to that nursing home director. Oh, absolutely. And you're like, just recommend us first. Yeah. A cut of every body. I guarantee that's happened. You want 5% of every body? <laughs> Send them over. Absolutely that. Send them yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a real thing. Commission, you... baby. Commission. But what's, what else goes into planning a funeral? Does a funeral home, like, do they give you, do you buy the plot from them? Or are you just getting, like... I think some of them you'll have all that they're stuff. They're arranging a funeral. Or they... Like, they want to just streamline it. Definitely with that stuff, they're like, we've got this guy and this guy, and go... You want to one-stop shop it. Yeah. Is the mortician, like... Is he the owner traditionally? I think it's is like, he like a, the, the butcher owns the grocery store. I think it's like a you know like a pharmacy pharmacist kind of thing. Okay, like he he might own it. I bet a lot of morticians own the he's funeral. An, he's home, an important part of it, but he's a specialized employee. But the mortician needs business sense. That's the whole key because the mortician yeah, can paint up a body. That's true. But unless the mortician has the business sense to go to the nursing home to. Yeah. Go to the ICU and be like, hey, just saying, we're in the area. Obviously, your pitch is, we want to make it as easy as possible on these people. Listen, They're already grieving. The last thing it. they need to do is just have to look around and not know what they're doing. We have found that the easier it is, the more money we get from you. And for $35,000, yeah. yeah. we can put Sue in the dirt with limited difficulties. Yeah. Do you get a second opinion with another funeral home? That's so that you're not getting fucked like a mechanic? Right. But you bring your buddy with you yeah, yeah, yeah. to the funeral home. <laughs> this guy's had a lot of dead relatives. <laughs> I want to be cremated. Yeah. Why not? I think caskets are... That's old-fashioned. Caskets are old-fashioned. Like they take what? up space. They're costly. Uh, fucking cemeteries take up space. Absolutely. Like, at that's what point... That's good real estate. How, at what point do we stop? I mean, if people keep dying... It's going to be skyscrapers. Like, I'm used to... A, a New England 
Irish Catholic, stuffy, sad, churchy, wake. incense, wake, funeral, whole weekend kind of thing. Uh, that's a good segue, Rob. You got to have a bar. <laughs> You've got to have a bar. <laughs> I want a cousin who makes a scene. I want a memory to be made there. Yeah. I want, I want everybody to talk about how funny I was. How smart I How was. How smart, successful, rich, handsome. They can lie. Oh, he was a good man. A huge <laughs> cock. Huge cock, you know, in a bigger brain. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, trust Google is uh, really what we're saying here for that. <laughs> and only that. Not with your information. All right. Boston comic Robert Green. Oh, thanks. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Until next time.